Welcome to the Just Cycle Tips video on derailleur adjustment. Today we're going to do the rear derailleur. For this, we're going to need a set of Allen keys or a multi tool and a Phillips head screwdriver. The first thing we need to do is back off the cable if it isn't already, loosen it completely off. To do this, I'm just loosening off the barrel adjuster by turning it in a clockwise direction so the cable's nice and slack you can feel if it's slack let's give it a bit of a pull if it doesn't work doing it on the the radar adjustment just back it off on the shifter now that's nice and slack we can set the limits to set the limits what you want to do is just push the derailleur with your thumb so it goes up onto the top ring and once to do that nice and easy and to run nice and smoothly this one you can hear it clicking a little bit so what we need to do it sounds like the limit is a little bit too far inwards so what we're going to do we're just going to find the L and the H on the derailleur so the L's on the bottom of this derailleur, which means lower limit, which is this one here. And we're just going to back that off about a quarter of a turn. Like so. We're just going to try that again. So we're going to push the derailleur across with our thumb. That's too far across. You can hear it catching on the spokes. And bring that in slightly. Again, that's too far across. I'm going to back that in again. And one last time. This should do it. Now well, that's running nice and smoothly. We can move to the higher limit. Make sure the chain's all the way down. What you want to do is just take the derailleur, pull it towards you. And on this particular one, that limit is set. If the derailleur pulls too far towards you and the chain hops off or clicks, then you need to turn the screw inwards, just clockwise. If the, if the uh, chain doesn't quite jump down, you need to turn the screw outwards, so anti-clockwise. Um, and again, you're just looking for the chain to run nice and smoothly on that gear. So now we can set the cable tension. So to start off with, just change up from eighth gear on this particular one, on your highest gear, to the second highest gear. That didn't do anything. So now you can start turning your barrel adjusters outwards to give the cable more tension until the cable hops up onto the next ring, like so. If you just check that, it goes up nicely, comes down quickly as well. Once you've done that, move up to the third, third highest. Again, if that didn't hop up that time, you'd give it a bit more um, on the barrel adjuster. You can do that on, on the one on the derailleur or the one on the shifter. If you've got one, it doesn't matter. And you're just going to keep going through the gears and systematically doing the same, making sure they all run smoothly. Going back down. Finally, we're going to set the B tension screw on the derailleur, which is this screw here. And what that does is it determines how far away from 
the highest ring your, dera your derailleur is going to be on this particular one it looks like it needs winding out it's a little bit near to this ring here so we're just going to turn that a few turns you see now it's it's just got a, a bit bigger gap and that should aid shifting make sure it's still running smoothly this one's running just about perfectly so there we have it setting up your rear derailleur